Bloomberg Educated Investor is brought to you by DBFX from Deutsche Bank. Volatility. It's cyclical, hard to predict, and can differ depending on the currency pairs you're trading. To capture profits, you'll need to look at what's referred to as implied volatility. It is an estimation of the returns that one can expect in a particular currency pair. Implied volatility is, is a very eloquent um, figure that the market kind of spews out. And it's, it's eloquent because uh, it's not determined by any one individual or any one institution. It's derived from the trades that you see in the market. It encompasses the market's anxiety about a coming event. That could be a political event, that could be a, a financial situation that is unraveling. You can leverage your profits by understanding how volatility can alter the currency playing field. When you use leverage, you need to have a, a really good sense of volatility in the underlying market. The uh, Mexican peso or the Turkish lira or the Australian dollars are much more volatile currencies. You have to make sure your leverage levels are lower because otherwise the volatility, the day-to-day -day moves will be so much larger that you could manage. If the volatility in the euro for the three months is X, this implies that the euro will move this much in any given day, this much in the next three months and so on. On a technical basis, you would look at it and say, okay, uh, how many standard deviations has this gone away from the mean? It depends on the nature of your trade. Is it because uh, you believe a new trend is forming, then volatility would be good because then you'll be catching, capturing very large moves day to day and that will give you uh, positive returns over time. Traders should be aware that a bet on volatility is risky business. It can be your best friend or your worst enemy. Thanks for watching Bloomberg, The Educated Investor. I'm Carol Biaggi. Bloomberg Educated Investor is brought to you by DBFX from Deutsche Bank.